Hey friends, Alicia here with another design space tutorial. I cannot wait to show you all this tutorial. This is something that's requested all the time and it's how to convert PNG images to SVG images. So PNGs are our portable network graphics. These are images that are typically one layer. They have multiple colors. They can be a little bit more detailed than an SVG, but sometimes we want to cut those PNG images with vinyl and make them multi-layered decals or whatever you want to make. But we have to know how to turn those flat images into multi-layered images so we can actually cut them out of the vinyl or whatever you plan to do with them. So today I'm going to show you not one, but two different ways that you can achieve this. Go ahead, click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our crafty Cricut design tips and we can go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are on the Makers Gonna Learn website. As you can see, we've got different categories that you all can go into. Now we have our cut files category, obviously we've got our fonts, but this print and cut file area is where we're gonna be at today. So typically with our print and cut images, they are the PNGs, the Portable Network Graphics. Now these come in as a one layered image, but they're typically very detailed and they're made specifically for printing and cutting. But we are wanting to cut a PNG out of vinyl today. So what I want to do is show you all exactly how to achieve this. Now I'm looking for an image that doesn't have a ton of detail, but that we are going to be able to break apart into different layers. So we're just going to find an image we like. I love this enjoy your day. We're going to go ahead and download that and it's going to pop into a zip folder. Now, something good about the Makers on to Learn website is that most of the time, whenever we upload new cut files, you're going to get the PNG as well as the SVG version of an image, but that's not always the case. So what we're going to do now is take this image. It's only a PNG, so we do not have the SVG version of this, but I'm going to show you in just a few easy steps how easy it can be to take one of these PNGs and convert it. So the first way that I want to show you after you've downloaded your image, let's go back to the internet. We are going to go to this website. It's literally called PNG to SVG.com. Now this website is going to convert it for us, which is super, super helpful. So you can see, we can just drag and drop a file. What I'm going to do is pop open my finder. I've got my image selected right here. If you can't find your image, go to your recents or your downloads and it should be there. And I'm just going to drag and drop this into the website. There are many different websites to do this. This one just works the best for us. And once you upload the image, you can see down here, we have our image uploaded. So it's picked up on five different colors, which is perfect. The next thing that we need to do is generate our image. Now, one thing that's going to be very important for you all, especially when you're using the website version, is that you are using PNGs with a transparent background. If you have pulled an image out of Google, you're going to want to make sure that you are pulling images that have a clear background, a transparent background, if you will. The reason I know that this has a transparent background is because I have this gray on gray checkerboard back here. And also Maker's going to learn PNG images always are uploaded to the website without a background. So you're not going to run into that issue whenever you're pulling PNGs off of our website. If you try to pull one off of Google, you're going to need to make sure that you are pulling them off with a transparent background. Let me show you all how to know if you are doing that or not. Okay, so I just Googled rainbow just for an example. You can go to tools, color, and then select transparent. This is going to filter out any images that do not have a transparent background. So you're going to see all of these whenever you download them will have a transparent background. But typically we're going to be using Maker's Gonna Learn images, so you're not going to have to worry about that. Now, We've got our image uploaded. So the next thing we're going to want to do is generate our image. And then we are going to download the SVG and you can see it pops in. Once that downloads, I'm going to hit control click and I'm going to select show in folder. So it's going to take 
show in Finder. So it's going to take me right to my image inside of my downloads. Keep it selected. Come down here to Cricut and then make sure you are on the uploads area. So go to the left, hit upload image, and then I'm going to go to our Finder and just click and drag that SVG in. Okay. Now we'll need to select upload and then you can select your image, add to canvas, and there you have it. Now, you can see over here, we have multiple layers and everything is separated into its own specific color. Y'all, that is so easy. So, what this is gonna look like whenever you go to cut this out of vinyl, go to make it, and then you can see each of these colors are gonna be on their own mat. How handy is that, y'all? So you can cut these out of these different color vinyls and then you can layer them on your own. Now, sometimes whenever we use this technique, we will run into a lot of jagged edges. And what I mean by that is, and it, it may not even be noticeable that much for you all, but sometimes there will be like jagged edges along the edges of the image. And that's just the nature of using that converter. Uh, but most of the time it does pretty good. Now, there is another way to achieve this look and it takes a little bit longer, but I feel like sometimes it can look a little bit more clean. So let me show you all exactly how to do that. Let's go to upload. I'm going to upload an image. This time we're going to actually pull the PNG into design space. So we're not pulling that SVG we converted. We're going to pull the original image. So we're going to pull the enjoy your day PNG into design space. I'm going to hit complex and continue. Now, the less colors you have for this, the quicker you're going to be able to do it. Now, this image has a ton of colors. Okay. But what we're doing virtually is erasing any of the colors that we don't want. But this one has five colors, if you remember. So we're going to have to repeat this process five times. And what I mean by that is let's just select a color to start with. Let's say we want to do, we want to cut the blue. What that means for us is we're going to have to get rid of anything that is not blue for the first upload. So I'm going to zoom in pretty close and then we can use the select tool to do most of these. You can just go in here, select anything that is not blue. Okay. And zoom out to make sure you've got everything. If you want to preview cut image, you can totally do that. And I can already see here, we still have some of those outlines from our rainbow. This is when I like to go in with my erase tool, kind of size it up and you can make it even bigger. And we can remove this rainbow right here because we don't want any of that. And I'm going to zoom in even to the letters. and make sure that those are cleaned up as well. And they look pretty good to me. Make sure I'm just scrolling around to make sure that there's no other little elements that we may not want. And then we can go off of this, zoom back out, make sure everything looks good. I'm going to hit apply and continue. In this instance, we're going to want to use the cut image. Okay. And then what you're going to do is repeat the process for each one. Now, if you're like, I don't really need all those colors. I really just wanted the rainbow to be different colors. I don't need to do that with the words. You can select the portions that you want to keep together. So what I mean by that is basically removing anything that you don't want. And so you would repeat that same process for every letter. Now this one, like I said, it's going to take a little bit longer but we've already done the blue, so we're just going to delete this. I'm going to repeat the process, kind of speed things up so you all can just get the gist for what we're doing, and then I'll show you how to lay it out in Design Space. If you accidentally erase something that you don't want to erase, just come up here and click the Undo button. 
Okay, so you can see we had five colors in our image and now I have five images here. So I'm just going to select these all and you can see they pop down here and we're gonna add them to our canvas. This is gonna allow you also to customize the colors for however you want them. You just have to kind of piece them together and if it helps you, you can color them as you place them. So I'm just going to select random colors just so you all can get a good idea of what is going on here. You can see it actually pulls in the colors that originally it used, but you can kind of swap them around if you want. And I would try to make sure not resize anything until you've got it all situated where it's actually supposed to go. And like I said before, select everything together before you resize. And then I'm just going to show you all what these look like side by side. And obviously we're going to be placing all of this manually whenever after we cut it out. So if you were cutting this out of HTV, you would actually have to apply this in layers with your HTV. So you're really only going to be using this technique for very specific projects, but it comes in handy whenever you've got a PNG image that you really want to break into different layers. Now, typically, if you found a PNG, you could just use like a printable heat transfer vinyl or something like that to get the entire image. But this is just a good way for you all and a good technique for you all to use in your future designs if you did want to break it apart and use different colors of HTV. So this is the first technique that I taught you all and this is the second one. Let me know which one you all are going to try out today in the comments. I would love to know and let me know your thoughts on turning PNGs into SVGs if you would rather just keep it a PNG and print it on printable HTV or if you enjoy this part of the design space or if you enjoy being able to manipulate your files and make things completely custom. I hope you all found today's tutorial super helpful and I hope that you're going to be able to feel like you can elevate your crafts now and really not be limited by a flattened PNG image when you really want to cut it out and use your own special colors. If you all try this technique out and you're a member, make sure to post it in our member only Facebook group. We always love to see your all's creations. And if you're not a member and you really liked what you saw today, make sure to check out the Makers Gonna Learn website and the description below. We've got a link for you all. We would love for you to be part of our crafty community. We will see you all in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you're notified the next time that we post and we will see you all there. Bye.